Starting your day off with a take on Vegas you won't get anywhere else. Hi, I'm Holly Madison, and I listen to Brian Shapiro. Hi, this is William Shatner, and I listen to Brian Shapiro. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and I listen to Brian Shapiro. Why? Because I'm a good American. So is he. And if you don't listen to him, you need to pack up and leave this country. This is the Vegas Take with Sharp and Shapiro. Welcome all again! What's up, baby? It is the Vegas Take. Sharp and Shapiro back at you. Yeah, have no fear. Mr. Shapiro is back. My thanks, by the way, to Ron Futrell for filling in for me yesterday. Had some family in town. Checked out the Mike Hammer show downtown at the Four Queens. Had a good time. But uh, we got a lot to get to today, a lot to go over as well. Another old, rich, white man and his sexual escapades. No, I'm not talking about Donald Trump, actually. I'm talking about somebody else, Steve Wynn, making the first statements since the sexual, I guess you could call it allegations. Yeah, he he made a written statement. So we're going to talk to uh, the disgraced, talk about the disgraced Steve Wynn coming up in just a little bit. More lies by Donald Trump. That's right. More myths, truths. Now it's about where his father was born. I don't know. I'm not sure how you can get that one wrong. I'm pretty sure I know where my dad was born, but apparently Donald Trump doesn't. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. As well, Jamison Welsh from Drive Time Sports joining us in hour number two. UNLV basketball, NBA playoffs right around the corner. He is our basketball guru. So that coming up in hour number two as well. Let's talk first about Joe Biden. We spoke a little bit about this on Monday where I said people just seem to want to play partisan politics. That's what they want to do. For the people out there, and if you watch Fox News, they call Joe Biden Crazy Joe. Not all of them. Shepard Smith doesn't do that. Brett Baer doesn't do that. Wallace doesn't do that. But people like Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram, people like that, you know, they have these nicknames for Joe Biden because he might have put his hand on a woman's shoulder, because he might have, you know, kissed a woman on the top of the head. And by the way, some of these women that he did this to are are, are coming to his defense. He's never been accused of sexual assault before, but yet if you watch Fox News, you would think that Joe Biden was a racist. Well, not a racist. I'm sorry. You'd think he was a rapist if you watch Fox News. And those same people are the ones that kept quiet when all these women came forward and said that Donald Trump, you know, allegedly sexually assaulted them. Didn't hear about that from some of those people on Fox News, but now they, they call this guy Crazy Joe, and it gets me really upset Here's why. Not because I would necessarily, I've never, I, I, I'm not even sure I would even vote for Joe Biden. But it ticks me off because of the partisan hacks out there that attack one side of the aisle. And I'm tired of it. Joe Biden is a decent man. Say what you want about his politics. Say what you want if you don't agree with him when it comes to certain political issues. One of the best friends, uh, you know, according to the McCain family, to John McCain, Joe Biden has reached across the aisle. Again, say what you want about his politics. I do not have a problem with that. But for those of you out there that want to talk about Joe Biden and and call him creepy Joe and think that he's just, just this horrible bad guy, you are a clown. So Joe Biden took to Twitter, and he responded to this. He responded to, I guess you could call them allegations. And I'm tired of people apologizing when they shouldn't have to apologize. I don't believe Joe Biden did anything wrong. I don't think, you know, he's never been accused of sexual assault before. If he kissed a woman on the top of the head and maybe some women are speaking out about it saying, well, it was awkward or I felt uncomfortable, okay, then, then, then he'll probably stop doing that. At least I hope he will. But I want to play you a little snippet of this video that he put on Twitter today in regards to this issue. Here's a little bit of what Joe Biden had to say about this. And the boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset. And I get it. I get it. I hear what they're saying. I understand it. And I'll be much more mindful. That's my responsibility. My responsibility, and I'll meet it. But I'll always believe Governing, quite frankly, life for that matter, is about connecting, about connecting with people. That won't change, but I will be more mindful and respectful of people's personal space. And that's a good thing. 
That's a good thing. And I, I, so right there, Joe Biden, and he goes on a little bit more, and, and, he, and, he, and he's just saying he'll be more mindful of it, so on and so forth. And I think he uh, responded to it appropriately. Again, Joe Biden is a good man. He's had a difficult life. And I think he served this country honorably. He's a good man. I don't necessarily agree with everything he has to say. I'm not saying I would necessarily vote for the guy. But why would you call him creepy? And why would you go after him and attack him like some members of Fox News do? Why? Because you're way on the right and you are the same idiots that kept quiet when Donald Trump said grab him by the P word. Oh, it was just locker room talk. Leave the guy alone. Donald Trump is a good man. He treats women with respect. You know, him and his, his 55 ex-wives. Yeah, Trump, Trump seems to treat women really well. Because isn't it a, a nice thing to do when you're married and your wife just has a child to have sex with a porn star? That's a good thing to do, right? A good guy. Great guy. And those are the same idiots that support Donald Trump or don't have a problem with that type of behavior but are calling Joe Biden creepy. Again, I'll say it one more time. Joe Biden is a good man. If he touched a woman on the shoulder or kissed a woman on the top of the head and it was unwelcome, perhaps he will stop doing that. I hope he does. But there was nothing sexual involved there, and there's a lot of women that are backing him. And the ones that are going after him are either the ones that don't want him to be president or way on the right or the Trump supporters. And I am tired of it. I'm also tired of Democrats on the left going after people because they're wearing a MAGA hat. And there's a story about that that I want to get to as well. We will talk about that at the bottom of the hour, and I will defend Trump supporters when it comes to that. You should be allowed to wear a hat if you want to and not be verbally assaulted. It did happen on a college campus. We'll talk about that as well. But for those of you out there that think it's okay to call Joe Biden by names, call you know, whatever, call him Dirty Joe Biden or Creepy Joe Biden, I want to hear from you. I want to know what your... I want to know what your logic is when it comes to that. Why is it okay to call him Creepy Joe, but to not say anything negative about Donald Trump? To me, it is completely and utterly disgraceful. We'll open up the phone lines now. The number to call if you want to be a part of the show. You won't find a more interactive show than The Vegas Take, we are proud to say. Always want to hear from you. The number is 257-5396. Again, the number to call if you want to be a part of the program. 257 257- Five three nine six. We're talking about the creepy Joe comments that continue on Fox News. The same people that have nothing negative to say about Donald Trump. In my opinion, you have no credibility. But I'll hear you out, and maybe you agree with me. I'll hear from you as well. Two five seven five three nine six is the number to call. Let's start off with Kelly leading it off. Kelly, good to hear from you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay, Kelly. It's good to be back in studio. It's good to. Uh, this is my therapy session to be able to vent to all of you. So, I'm doing good, <laughs> Kelly. What's on your mind? No JD yet? I don't know where he is. I can't comment on that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe he's hanging out with Joe Biden. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Adam Schiff has evidence of where he's at. <laughs> maybe he does. But, well, um, go ahead. What's on your mind? No. Well, I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with them calling him Creepy Joe. I mean, the the people on CNN sure uh, they didn't have any problem. Uh, they don't. They don't have because they currently do it. Mm-hmm. Have any problem of calling Trump a racist when they have zero evidence okay. of him actually? Name being a me, racist. name me one person that is actually an anchor on CNN that called him a racist, please. Don Lemon. Don Lemon flat out said Donald Trump is a racist. Yes. Okay. Well, if he said that, I don't recall him saying that. If he said that, I don't agree with it because I don't know what's in Donald Trump's heart. I will say this: yeah, he has and, said uh, some the racist. The yes. people that you named, like Tucker, yes. uh, Hannity, uh, Laura Ingram, they're not anchors. They're actually commentators. Well, they, what do you think? Well, Don Lemon, Don Lemon's a commentator, regardless of what he says. Don Lemon is exactly what those other names you just – he's a commentator. He is. Right, he's not an anchor. Saying, you know, you're, you're saying that you know, people – it's a partisan you – know, definitely a partisan attack. It's oh, like, I think it is. Well, Let me ask you a question. I'll prove – It's good for the game. No, I disagree. Here, I, I, you, you're you're going to prove my point for me. Okay, are you okay with me going on the air right now and saying Donald Trump is creepy? Creepy Donald Trump? Would you, okay, would you be okay with me going on the air every day and saying, boy, that Donald Trump, he, he bangs these porn stars. He's a womanizer. He's creepy. He's a cheater. He's a bastard. Would you be okay with me saying that every day? 
Isn't that what you do every day? Uh, I never called him creepy. I never called you him a bastard. Said, you know, well, he, you know, he's got 56 ex-wives, you know, I mean, like I exaggerated. more than I exagger- one ex-wife is a bad thing. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be honest with you, Kelly, okay? You put Joe Biden and you stand him next to Donald Trump, anybody who is not biased, who do you think is a better human being? You tell me right now, Kelly. I don't care if you're on the right. I don't care if you voted for Donald I'm Trump. Gonna, I, I'm you gonna tell me right now. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Donald Trump. Okay, well, that Donald is Trump completely and utterly ridiculous. You, Kelly, well, hold on. No, well, hold on. What do you mean, hold on? How could you say You're that? You're not even let me explain why. Go I ahead. Did. If you want to make yourself sound ridiculous, go ahead, Kelly. I'll, I'll give you the time. Go ahead. Sure. Um, well, Donald Trump actually cares about the security of this country. <laughs> Well, you look at the Democrats. Uh, and hold on. Like, don't, uh, don't talk about the Democrats. We're talking about Joe Biden. My specific question to you was, who is a better human being, Joe Biden or Donald Trump? You're telling Joe me Joe Biden, Biden doesn't well, care about the country? You're telling me Joe Biden doesn't care about middle class people? You want to tell me no. that Donald Trump cares more about middle class people? Forget about even middle class people. Yes. You're saying that Donald Trump is a better human being than Joe Biden, yes, who is an honorable husband, an honorable father. What, what, what are you talking about, Kelly? Are you are okay, you insane? Can I, well, can I finish? Can uh, I not, finish? What if I'm you can say? make some sense for me, up. please. Thank you. <laughs> well, you, if you look at the Democrat platform, what they're doing right now, and Joe Biden is a blue Democrat through and through, and if he gets the nomination, which he might, well, I wasn't talking about to, politics. I asked you a very well, simple hold question. On. It, it, what you do as a politician represents who you are as a human being. So you think Donald Trump he's is gonna, a great human being? Is that what you're telling me? Compared to Joe he's Biden, to secure our border and not let illegal you're talking aliens about policy. Our country. You're talking about well, political policy. I asked you a very specific question. Who do you think is a better human being? You know, people want to talk Joe Biden. You think it's okay to call him creepy, but yet you think Donald Trump is a better person than Joe Biden when Joe Biden is an honorable husband, an honorable father who have served this country honorably. Okay, last I checked, nobody has accused him of sexual assault. We got over a dozen women that have accused That's Donald Trump. That's not of, true. He's been accused of sexual assault by, by who? A, uh, by who? From UNLV just today. Just today, somebody she, accused Joe Biden of sexual assault. That is new to me. I did not hear that. I can name you a lot of women that. that have accused Donald Trump of sexual assault. I can name you a lot of women that say Donald Trump touched them inappropriately. I never heard Joe Biden say, you can grab him by the P word. It's okay because you're famous. You can do it. They let you do it because you're famous. And, Kelly, we're just going to have to agree to disagree on this one. I just cannot believe you think that Joe Biden standing next to Donald Trump, Donald Trump is a better human being. We're just going to disagree on that one. This has nothing to do with politics politics for me. Okay, folks, zero. Do I think Joe Biden is creepy? No, I think he's a decent human being. I don't think Donald Trump is a good person. Anyone who goes after a POW that's been captured is a bad person as far as I am concerned. Uh, Let's go to uh, Madeline. Madeline, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you? Well, I'm doing great. Is Kelly saying hold on while she hits a crack pipe? (laughs) (laughs) That's a good point. I I would vote for Joe Biden. I just saw a snippet on television and he's apologizing. He's not saying, no, I didn't do this like the orange man. Right. <laughs> he's not denying anything. He's owning up. Yes, he's he is. being very mm-hmm. respectful about it. But that's Joe Biden as a human being. He's lived a respectful life. He's a respectful guy. And that's why people across the aisle do respect him. How many people across the aisle respect Donald Trump? In fact, how many people in the middle, they might even say, Madeline, they like some of his policies. But even a lot of people that I talk to on a daily basis that voted for Donald Trump, they they know he's a scumbag. He's just not a good person. Well, it's so corrupt. Look at all these people that are leaving. Right. All these people that are being fired. Mm -hmm. I mean, when is Melania going to fire him? (laughs) That's, that's I think you know what I think she's going to do, Madeline. That's a good point. I think uh, she's going to divorce him. If I had to guess, within five or six years, when he's out of the White House, I'm not sure that marriage is going to last. Hey, I could be wrong. I'll take bets with anyone on that one, Madeline. It is very. Uh, go ahead, Madeline. Go ahead before I let uh, you go. I I just wanted to say that um, I do feel bad for her, but I don't. She knew from the beginning yeah. what type of a man he was, besides being orange. The- <laughs> <laughs> you so keep calling him orange and make me laugh. Choice. That is true, <laughs> Madeline. But you know what? And by, by the way, good to hear from you, Madeline. I appreciate the call. I don't feel bad for Melania at all because I don't believe she married him for his lavish looks. I think we all can agree, or at least most of us, why she married him. 
you know, powerful man, a lot of money. Simple as that. 257-5396. Let's go to uh, Jeff. Jeff, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you? Hey, Brian. What's going on? Not much, my man. What's on your mind? Yeah, uh, I just, you know, you went to your little spiel and blamed Fox News and everybody else for this Joe Biden thing, but the source of these uh, stories were the Bernie people. They're trying to take Joe out before mm-hmm. his campaign starts because they don't want to have to compete with him. And if that it is, wasn't, it if, wasn't the right that that did oh, this. And no, but it is. Nobody, it. nobody. Okay, uh, <clears throat> let's let's address that, and that's a valid point. First of all, let me just say. Nobody in the Bernie Sanders campaign called him Creepy Joe, as far as I know. But if you watch Fox no, News— No, no, no. I'm not talking about the Creepy Joe thing. That's been around forever. I'm talking about all of a sudden these women coming forward and saying, you know, yes. this isn't cool, mm-hmm. yada, yada. Right. I mean, it was fine for eight years when he was vice president in, an, in a Democrat administration with Obama. Nobody give, gave a crap about it. And now all of a sudden it's a big deal. So what has so, he done that you think – what has he done that— what has he done, Jeff? On the left, and they're just trying to take him out. And that might, you might be right, and I don't agree with that either. I don't agree with that any more than somebody on Fox News calling him Creepy Joe. I mean, does that make sense? I don't agree with it, what you're saying. Yeah, if, if, you no, know, whatever. It's not really, I don't think he deserves to be called Creepy Joe. I do think that if you ever, there's like tons of video of him doing this stuff, and it is sort of socially weird, but, you know. Well, maybe, socially maybe weird, and to me, socially weird, Jeff, and I'm sure you'll agree with me on this one. Socially weird and sexual assault are two completely different things. Can we agree on that? No, I don't think it's it's not sexual assault, uh, but they're just trying to do anything they can to sort of tarnish him, and, and that's wrong. And, and that's and, wrong. Uh, yeah, you know, tag him with the Me Too movement. Even can I ask you, Jeff? Really Jeff, can I, Jeff, can I? And I don't, I don't disagree with you. Let me ask you this, Jeff. Do you think who do you think is a better human being? Be honest. Joe Biden standing next to Donald Trump. Who would you rather? You know, it you know, go to church it with. On how you're defining that? If you if you are talking morally, yeah. probably Joe Biden. Right. Like, mm-hmm. but if you're talking about what's who's who's doing better for the country, then it's Donald Trump. All okay. right. Well, that that wasn't really my question. That's more policy and politics. But I appreciate. Yeah. I, appre- no, morally, morally, I understand. I would say Joe Biden. Okay, what well, we know. Yes. Of both I hear you. together. I would say Joe yeah. Biden. All right. Well, Jeff, I do appreciate your intellectual honesty. I appreciate your call. Call back anytime. 257-5396 is the number to call. 702-257-5396. Let us go to Chris. Chris, thank you for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you, Chris? Hey, what's up, Brian? How are you doing, brother? I'm doing good. Doing good, good, doing good, good, good my man. So so my, my, my thing is, uh, yeah, I think everyone, uh, you know, and I— and I'll be I'll be honest. I'm I'm an independent, and but I have conservative values. Uh, I think everyone needs to stop with the, the name calling because this is like elementary uh, crap. Uh, you know, to put it in a lighter term, I would say a much explicit word. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to you know shouldn't be calling anybody any name. Right. Um, you know, but I where I look at it as this this started from this lady here in Nevada that was running. Yes. Running for lieutenant governor in 2012. Why is she doing this now? Why didn't she say something all the way back then? You I know, agree. Like, I agree. You you shouldn't you shouldn't wait what seven years. Um, Politics. You know. Yeah. So and I and I know uh, I I heard a couple of new reports that there's two other women and uh, I heard from Ash Carter's uh, uh, wife. She said you know when that. That video that right. yeah it was it was on Fox and and I yeah. forgot where else mm-hmm. uh, but yeah she said you know given mm-hmm. that she had fell down and that he was just trying to comfort her that's you what know? yeah yeah Chris you know and I, I totally I that. yeah. I totally understand where you're coming from, Chris, and, and, and really good to hear from you. And you're right. Uh, the, unfortunately, this is the day and age that we live in, the partisan politics. It's why things can't get done in Washington. you got Republicans going after Democrats, Democrats going after Republicans. But then people are going to say, well, Brian, you go after Donald Trump every day. No, I, I think I have valid points when I go after Donald Trump, okay? And we're going to get into that. You know, the guy's lying about where his father was born in Germany. Joe Biden, to me, is not a liar. He is a decent human being. Let's go to uh, James. By the way, the number to call, 257-5396. James, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you? Did we lose James on uh, line five? Once again, line five not working. Well, I'm glad to see they fixed that. That's good. 257-5396. Line five has not been working, I think, since we started this show, it feels like. 257-5396, the number to call. Sorry about that, James. Call back. We'll get you. Let's go to Dawn. Dawn, thanks. Yeah, we lost Dawn. Uh, we lost Dawn. 
257-5396. If you're on hold, uh, maybe we had a little issues with our phone lines. Please call back. 257-5396. Bede, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Bede? Yes, Bede. How are you? Mr. Bede. Yeah, hey, uh, I, uh, I, I believe that, uh, you know, nice doesn't cut it anymore. You know, the country is on the edge. Like, Obama's a nice guy. But, you know, and, and this old Biden guy, he smiles nice, too. He's a nice grandpa. But that ain't going to cut it. It's far more important that I don't mind a little couple cuss words and, you know, women stuff in his past because that's what rich people do. What do you mean? What do you mean, nice grandpa? I mean, are you being disrespectful yeah. towards Joe Biden no. because of his no, age? What does that mean? Dis- a grandpa's not disrespectful. He's older so would you call Donald dinosaur. Trump? Would you call Donald Trump grandpa, too? He's young. No, he's not. What the hell are you talking about? No, you're, no, he's not. What are you talking about? Why don't you call? No, Donald Trump is a great grandpa. What do you think about that? Okay, all stop it with the, the partisan. Stop it with the part. You started this phone yep, call by it. making partisan comments, no, calling Joe Biden grandpa. Obviously, you are a right winger Republican. Finish. If no, you no, want to no, have no, a conversation, let's be let's be fair. Go ahead. I want to have a conversation. Okay, let's do I, it. I then. do. Okay. Okay. So it's far more important than having a nice man in the White House. We already did that with Obama. It got us nowhere. Now he's a little brash, but that's what it's good to go against the normal politicians of Washington. Okay, can I pull back on that? What about both? At what cost? I don't care. It's one thing about policy. Why can't you be respectful? Why can't you be respectful? Why do you have to lie every day? I'm not disrespecting nobody. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about our president. He's disrespectful towards anybody that disagrees with him. He goes after war heroes. Okay, this well, is what the guy I, well, does on a no daily basis. Look, that's not brass. That's, that's being a liar. That's being at some of them Democrats. Though. See, like there it. you go. I, I criticize Donald you know? Trump. I criticize Donald Trump. And you bring up a Democrat. Why can't you focus on what we're talking about? You started the All conversation right. by calling Joe Biden grandpa. You're starting off the conversation by being disrespectful. No wonder you like Donald Trump. You, you, you're you turning into crazy, Brian. Don't do it. I'm not crazy. I'm honest. You start you started off by, no, by calling. I'll, I'll take, hey, I'll take <laughs> Trump over Grandpa, any day in the White House. There, he's like Obama. Why? Nice doesn't cut it. Why? Nice because nice. What do you mean nice? So it. you would rather have a guy that says grab women by the P and goes goes after POWs. That's okay <laughs> that's, with that's, you? That's, that's okay that's with you? He was doing TV stuff. Who cares? We don't we Who cares? For that. He's the president of the United States. Real. He I is the president of the United stuff, States. No. He's the leader of the free world and you're okay with him being disgraceful and lying and Everybody's saying horrible things. Him and he's getting it done. What do you mean it's he's important. getting it done? What are you talking he's about? He's getting it done. He's getting already penis back. You know how many flags are flying around now? My God, there's so many in Vegas. It's like pride in America. What are you, you talking know? about? He lost the popular vote. Don't make it like everybody that's, supports that's, this guy. That's because that's because California is Mexico. That's why. Oh, stop it's it! Big, now you're going to make a that. racist. Now you're going to make a racist that's comment. Racist. No wonder why no, you're a Donald not. Trump. Star. I just figured out, Bede, why you're a Donald Trump star because you're a racist. Mr. Goodbye. Bede. No, goodbye. California, they're a bunch of Mexicans. That that's why he lost the popular vote. What a doofus. These are some of the people that vote for Donald Trump. And then he call, and then he starts and then he how interesting he starts the conversation by saying Grandpa Joe. <sighs> Sounds like somebody on Fox News. I think we just lost a caller there. Uh, the number to call 257-5396 is the number to call. Again, if you'd like to be a part of the show, give us a buzz 257-5396. You see what I'm talking about, folks? You start a conversation by insulting Joe Biden. How can I take you seriously? If you want to start a conversation and say, well, you know what? I think Joe Biden is a decent guy. I think he's a decent man. I'm not going to call him creepy. I like Donald Trump because of blah, 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 blah. I'll listen to you. But don't start off a conversation by insulting Joe Biden because you sound like one of those hacks on Fox News. And, And look, if this started with the Bernie Sanders campaign, and by the way, I have no proof to show that it did. I know this woman from Connecticut that came out. And says that Joe Biden inappropriately, inappropriately touched her at the Hartford Current over there. That's how, to me. That's that's how this whole thing started. But maybe it was somebody in the Bernie Sanders. I don't know. I think Bernie Sanders is another good person. Would I vote for the guy? No, I'm not saying that. We're talking about human beings. We're talking about what makes you a good person. When it's all said and done, and Donald Trump is six feet underneath the ground, and I don't think that I don't want that to happen soon. So don't get the wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when it's all said and done, besides being a former president of the United States, what are they going to say about Do- Donald Trump? Was he a great husband? Was he a great father? Was he an honorable man? You put him next to Joe Biden. There is no comparison. You put Donald Trump next to John McCain. Okay, last I checked, John McCain didn't dodge the military because of bone spurs. 
Okay, he was a prisoner of war for five years. How can you say that Donald Trump is a better human being than a guy like Joe Biden? But if you watch Fox News or if you listen to people like Bede who just call in, they want to, you know, attack Joe Biden. Well, he's a nice guy, but we don't want a nice guy. Why can't we have both? At what cost in this country? At what cost do we have to have someone up there lying? And, and d- embarrassing the country, standing next to Kim Jong-un, standing next to Vladimir Putin, and siding with evil, murderous dictators. At what cost? At what cost as a country? That's not being brass. That's being completely and utterly disrespectful and being something that I can't say on the radio because the FCC won't like me very much. That's why. I don't want to be fined. I'm poor. I don't want to be fined. That's what this is all about. And when we come back, I also want to talk about Donald Trump lying about where his father was born. His father wasn't born in Germany. We'll get to that when we come back. And I will side with Republicans. I will side with Republicans on another story that's come out in regards to people wearing MAGA hats, people being verbally assaulted because of that, which I do not support in any way, shape, or form. We will get to that when we come back as well. And we will take your phone calls, of course. The number to call if you want to be a part of the show, 257-5396. Again, that number to call if you want to be a part of the show, 257-5396. If we got a little disconnected there, please feel free to call back. Love to take your calls. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back right after this, and we will continue with your phone calls again at 257-5396. Three nine six. Also, another story I want to get to is the Steve Wynn story, making some finally making some public comments on the sexual allegations. That much more. You're listening to the Vegas Take, the all new one hundred one point five FM, seven twenty AM, K Dawn. All right, welcome back. Uh, it is the Vegas Take. Sharp and Shapiro, glad you could join us. Another fun segment in store for you, and I, I, I promised I would bring this up. And by the way, uh, if you want to be a part of the program, give us a buzz at 257-5396. Donald Trump wrongfully claiming, if you want to call it a lie, it seems like he does it on a daily basis, claiming that his father was born in Germany during a press conference with the NATO Secretary General. Trump made the claim while criticizing Germany's chancellor, whose country the president said was not paying their fair share. He said, quote, I have great respect for Angela and I have great respect for the country. My father's German, was German, born in a very wonderful place in Germany. So I have a very great feeling for Germany. That is a lie. His father was born in New York. Does he really think that people aren't going to figure that out, that people don't know that? It just doesn't make any sense. And this isn't the first time he did that. He also claimed his father was born in Germany back in July of 2008, 18, when he criticized EU nations for doing business with Iran after Trump broke the nuclear agreement with the country. Now, some people might not think this is a big idea, big deal. Some people might think it's okay. I, I hate to sound like Adam Schiff on this, right, as Trump likes to call him pencil neck. Some people might think it's okay for the president of the United States to lie to people on a regular basis. I don't. I don't. Especially at this magnitude, on a national stage, lying about where your father was born. It makes you look like a clown. That's the point I'm trying to make here, folks. Number to call, 257-5396. Ron has been waiting patiently on hold. Ron, thanks for calling in. How are you? Ryan, you're pretty good tonight, believe me. You're pretty good. (laughs) I want to ask you about the same kind of question, you know? Okay. Where, where were you born? I was born in Connecticut, sir. Okay. Do you want, do you want the United this, States of you, America? Would you right? like the specific hospital? I could give you the specific hospital. How well, much no, I weighed. No, no. I, I, I just have another question. Okay. When you were born, what did your mother do with the baby? When I was born, so you're trying to be facetious and you're trying to be funny. Would you like to have a normal debate or, would you, or do you want to say something like, stupid? Like Donald, Donald Trump's father Let me t- was born in Germany. Who the hell cares? What do you mean who cares? Born. It's a lie. You don't care it's if like, your president like, lies? Who would care what your mama did with the baby? I what mean, are you talking about? It's a lie. It's the president of the United States talking about. He's talking to people in Germany, leaders in Germany, and he's saying his father was born in that country. That's a lie. You don't care that your president lies? That's shameful, well, Ron. remember? Don't you remember what your mother did with What the does that have to do with born? what I'm talking about? Are you a psychopath? 
I'm asking you a question. Do you care that the president I, lies? I asked you three times. Are you a you nut job? With the baby Are, when you what were does born, that? You didn't answer my question. What does yet. that have to do with anything? What do you want me to say? She used me as a football and she threw a spiral. Will that Don't make you, you happy? Know what your mama did with the baby when well, you were born. Are you are you a nut job? Are you gonna have a? Are, are you? Tr- I know you're trying to be funny. You're not funny, Ron. Don't quit your J job. All right. Have a nice day, Ron. I have no idea what Ron is talking about. What are you talking about, Ron? I I just. <sighs> Whew, that was a weird one. Two five seven five three nine six. Let's go to Maddie. Maddie, thanks for calling in. How are you, Maddie? Hi, I've been listening to you. You're going to be preaching to the choir here, so uh, <laughs> it's okay. I okay. actually have a couple of questions. Sure, I'll answer anything um, you want, even what my mom did with like, my the baby. He's been in, in office for over two thousand, what two, two years rather, and he's lied over nine thousand times. He's well on his way to ten thousand yeah, lies. I, I agree. Years. You are correct. Okay. My question is, you got a 38% pocket of people mm-hmm. that thinks he can do no wrong, right. that he is God, he is the right. Messiah, mm-hmm. and he's got the, he's got the Bible founders believing mm-hmm. that he is the second coming. Yeah. Now, here's my question. Okay. My question is, how do you change that? Well, what can you do? That's a loaded Wait, question. Let me, let me just finish my whole question. <laughs> sure. What can you do with these people to truly understand that wind does not give you cancer mm-hmm. and that uh, his grandfather was born in Germany? Right, that's and correct. And have it make some sense to mm-hmm. them. Well, that's a, that's a loaded question. Hang on the line. Hang, yes. that, that he says. hang on the Please line. Hang on the line, Maddie, and that is a very loaded question, but I, I want you to hang on with me. Okay, so here's the deal. It, let's just say, hypothetically, 40% of the country would vote for Donald Trump again. I think there's a lot of different people in that 40%. There's the people where he said on Fifth Avenue if he shot somebody— you know, they would vote for him. So those people are complete idiots. Those are morons, and those are the people that, even though I'm not a Hillary Clinton supporter, that said deplorable. Yes, you are deplorable. If Donald Trump kidnapped one of your kids and you would still vote for him, those are the people that Donald Trump, you know, I would say probably half of the people, and again, it's a huge guess, half the people that support Donald Trump, maybe 15, 20 percent of those, you know, of that 40 percent are those people, and those people are idiots. Now then there's people like my co-host who, who was unable to make it today, but my co-host J.D. Sharp who likes some of his policies, just wants him to tone down the rhetoric. I will listen to those people. I want to hear from those people because I respect those people, even though I don't agree with their voting record. I don't I, like anything he's done. Environmentally, he is, he, he's ruined us. I mean, it's going to take – I have grandchildren, and mm-hmm. quite honestly, it's – they're not going to be ever to be able to recover from this. They won't. Yeah. They won't be able to. Well, I mean, as far as policy goes, I could tell you a few policies of Trump that I can't stand. First of all, uh, transgenders in the military. The fact that he was he passed a bill that will uh, disallow most transgenders from serving is disgraceful, okay? His vice president is disgraceful as well, Mike Pence. When you think that if you are a homosexual that you should go to conversion therapy and your wife works in a school that doesn't allow homosexuals to work there or go to school there, that is disgraceful. And these are the people that, that are president and vice president. It's a joke. It's a joke, really. It's disgraceful. Okay, okay. here's my question. How can we affect? that 38 percent how can we change their mind mm-hmm. i don't know if we can i think half I of those think, people you can I, I, think, I think trump has to do it i think he it, has to it's a good do question it yeah. he has to show them that it's going to hurt his right. marvelous tax plan didn't help right. them a bit and and people will be laid off very soon maybe Right. Now. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a good question, Maddie, and and let me try to answer that one. And by the way, it's good to hear from you. Those are two very, very, very good questions and important questions. Like I said, I think half the people that support Trump, they're not going to change their mind no matter what. I think if Donald Trump continues to go after John McCain, I think if he doesn't get this border wall figured out, I think that if there's more blunders, and his tax returns come out. You heard a story today about how the Democrats want to see his tax returns, that sort of deal. If anything comes out of this investigation in the Southern District of New York, if we see the Mueller report and it makes Trump look terrible, then I do think some of those people will not support the president in 2020. But here's what we're not talking about. Who is he going to be running against? I don't see any Democrats on the other side that I say to myself, wow. That guy would be a fantastic president. Now, a lot of them, I think, would be a better president than Donald Trump, but nobody that excites me. 
right? That's the issue that we're facing here. We need to wait another year or so. Let's see exactly who Donald Trump is going to be running against. And then I think, uh, Maddie, I will do a better job of answering that question for you because that's a big part of this. Who is he going to be running against? That's a huge, huge, huge question that still needs to be answered. Now, I can tell you who I think it's going to be. Probably Joe Biden. Probably Booker as his vice president or Kamala Harris. Some, somebody like that. But I don't know that for sure. 257-5396 the number to call. Dave is next on the Vegas Take. Dave, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Doing good, Dave. What's on your mind? Yeah, um, I just don't know if, if I'm. you might be aware of the story uh, with Joe Biden as far as uh, using his uh, position in his office as vice president, uh, extorting Ukraine for wanting to withhold $1 billion in financial assistance and aid. Are you, are you familiar with that? I do not have that story in front of me. I am not, Dave. I'm not going to lie to you and say I am. Okay. Well, um, according to uh, the story, uh-huh. um, he wanted a certain prosecutor fired or removed from office in Ukraine because mm-hmm. that prosecutor was investigating his son's company. Can I ask you this then? Fox News, all they want to do is attack Democrats and they want to attack Joe Biden. Why is it that they haven't brought this story up? I find that interesting if it's true. Um, I believe uh, it was on Fox News. Okay, I didn't hear it. You might be right, Dave. I mean, I don't watch Fox. I don't watch Fox News twenty four seven, but I do watch well, it. Well, no, ne- ne- neither do I. I, right. I just listen to it when, when I'm at work. Understood. Well, you know what? Guess what, Dave? That's the beauty of running for president. If that is true, trust me, it's going to come out and it's going to hurt him. I just don't know if right. it is. Right, and 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 that's you know to bring up your point. I I honestly do hope that you know Mr. Biden does get the nod from the Den- Democrats because that way. I just think it would be curious to, to see what type of answers he comes up <laughs> with these questions. I think because it would these be questions are yeah. definitely going to be asked. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. I mean, I'm sure you would agree. There's a lot of questions still with Donald Trump that need to be answered. Oh, absolutely. But, yeah, absolutely. but hey, you have to admit this though, Dave. It, it would be good TV to watch Joe Biden and Donald Trump up out there debate each other for two hours. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> that would be fun. Hey, Dave, it's good to hear from you, my man. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. All right, it. sir. Thank you. All right, thank you. 257-5396, 702-257-5396. If that story is true, it's going to come out. The Republicans will go after him for that. And if it is true, I don't have a problem with that. But stop calling him Creepy Joe. This is just ridiculous. 257-5396. Brian is next. Brian, how are you? Good. How's it going, How's it going Brian? It is going all right, my man. What's on your mind? Well, you kind of stole all my thunder, you and Maddie. <laughs> uh, I, I was just going to say that, you know, you're getting too predictable. I'm too pred- – not at the poker table, my friend. I won a lot of money last night. Well, that that's good. You know, that's a good place <laughs> to be unpredictable. But on the radio show, you become all too predictable. It's Why all you Trump say- all the time, all well, the he's negativity. he's our president. He's our president. It all goes back to Trump. I know, but you – the other day you start off with a story we're going to do – you know, part of it I'm going to put down the Democrats, and part of it I'm going to put – well, it all went right segment. back to Trump, and well, then you want a 20-minute seg- tirade against yeah, Trump. Again. absolutely. I do that every day because he frustrates yeah. me because he lies every day. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do next segment. I am going to support people who wear MAGA hats because there's a story that came out uh, on a college campus, someone wearing a MAGA hat being verbally assaulted. I want to address that issue, and I will get to that in the next segment because I don't agree with it. Look, I, I try to be – I know you don't think so, Brian, and that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I try to attack both sides if I think it is warranted, okay? I try to do that, uh, you know, but the bottom line is, that, you know, Hillary Clinton's not our president. Barack Obama's no longer our president. Hillary's not a politician anymore. Donald Trump is our president. And, you know, the guy lies on a daily basis. I think he is a complete and utter disgrace to this country, regardless of whether policies are working and unemployment numbers are down and the economy is good. At what cost? That is not an excuse to act like a buffoon and stand up there with evil, murderous dictators and side with them over our own intelligence. He says and and does stupid things on a daily basis. Now he's lying about where his father was born. It's just it's enough already. And I'm tired of it. Let me ask you a question. Do you think he may have misspoke? No. You know why? No. You know why? it's his grandfather. No. We all know it's his grandfather that that was born in Here's Germany, why I say no. Bavaria, that right? is a that is a valid point, but here's why I would completely disagree with that premise because he lied about it in July of 2018 as well. And he was criticized about it back then, and he's getting criticized about it now, and I don't think the man cares. He just lies and lies and lies. He's an old guy, man. Give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, Brian. I mean, look. You get, you get Biden and Bernie in there, you, you can find out all kinds of crazy stuff happening because these guys are not you know, spring chickens. I, I didn't say Donald Trump 
Trump was a spring chicken, and I think it's one thing to make a mistake and misspeak. Like when you say Mark Apple or whatever he did and, you know, mispronounces people's names. I don't have a problem with that. George W. Bush did that nonstop. He wasn't the greatest public speaker, but I got to tell you what, George W. Bush looks like a pretty damn good president to this guy. Well, everybody misspeaks on occasion. You do it. I Abs- do it. Absolutely, but I don't and lie. I'm the kind of guy that runs down the line just like your partner, J.D. You know, when it comes to voting in 2020, I take a look at these 10 candidates right now. Yes. It's a rogues gallery of loony, loony tune people. I don't think Bernie Socialism, Sanders— Socialism, late-term abortion, the Green New Deal, abolish the Electoral College, expand the Supreme Court, slavery— rep- Reparations, universal basic income, wealth tax, and Medicare for okay, all. Well, not open borders <laughs> and end private health care. Right. I know you. I know if you. <laughs> you think any of those ideas are going to work with the general public? Well, I you got just some stark news for you. Well, you just, you just. Well, let me ask you a question. Then, why is it that Donald sure. Trump lost the popular vote then over Hillary Clinton, who I don't think was a very good candidate? Why is it that the majority of Americans voted for Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump? And I guarantee you, Donald Trump, if he wins the presidency in 2020, I can almost guarantee you he won't win the popular vote then either. Why is that, Brian? I, I would put a bet on that one. Okay, that's fair. I think it's, I think it's going to be a landslide this time. Okay, but you didn't answer frankly. my question. Though. Why is it that he lost the popular vote two years ago? Well, it, it's happened a couple of times. It doesn't happen very often. And you've got such a, a, a amount of blue states with such a large amount of population in it. You know, you've got all these people in California. You've got all these people on the East Coast, the West Coast, the Pacific Northwest, and New England. I mean, there is a, you know, large pockets of blue population. But then when you look at the map of all the counties that went red, yeah. it's they're far more Brian, red can I ask you something? Are blue ones. Let me, let me ask but, you something else, if I may, because yeah. I, I, I respect your opinion. We don't always agree. I do think you are a smart guy, and trust me, that is more than I would say to many people that call into this show. I love all my listeners, but some of them are buffoons. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to call it what it is. You, are, I don't, I don't consider you one of them. So that's probably the nicest compliment I could ever get a caller. So you, you should be appreciative of that. Anyway, <laughs> let me, let me just, let me just say this. Okay. I don't care where you live. Why are people obsessed with – I don't care if you live in California. I don't care if you live in Connecticut. All I care is that you're legal. You're not an illegal because I don't want illegals to vote. We all don't want that, I would hope. And I don't care where you're from. Everybody has their own opinion. I don't care if you live in New York or you know, if you live in the state of Nevada or in the middle of the country or in Nebraska. Every vote should count the same. And that is why I agree with Democrats, okay, that the Electoral College should be gone. It is a joke. My vote should count the same as anyone who lives in any part of the country. And if the majority of Americans want somebody other than Donald Trump, then we shouldn't have Donald Trump as the president. Well, let me tell you what's wrong with that, okay? There are a number of states right now are trying to, to override uh, the, the electoral vote without having to go through the process of doing a new amendment, doing away with it, which is very difficult to do. So Nevada is one of those states that's considering it right now. So if Donald Trump loses the popular vote because of what happened in California and the East Coast, all of our votes – are going to vote, go to the person, even though we may have went for Donald Trump here in Nevada. The majority of the population of Nevada could have voted for Donald Trump in 2020, but yet all of those electoral votes would go to his opponent. Why? Because in California, New York, and all these other large blue states, they voted for him. But what so does it what, matter? What about your vote then? Then your vote isn't equal. Yes, it is. Yeah, you're not no, making you're not making any sense. My vote should no, be just. Oh, yes, I am. My vote should be just as equal as. I don't care whether it's a blue state or a red state. I don't care. Why do you care about that? It should be each individual person. Period. I don't care what blue, red, yellow, green, black. I don't care. One person's opinion should be mean the same as another person's opinion, regardless of where they live, as long as they're illegal and they're allowed to vote and they're not a felon. Why is that so hard for you to get? I don't, I, Brian, I just don't get I, it. I, I get perfectly what you're trying to communicate to me, but what I'm trying to communicate to you, it's not one vote is equal with every other one vote. In fact, you'd be throwing your vote away. No, I wouldn't. In some instances. No, some I wouldn't. people states that – do, that do this farce thing are going to be throwing right. their votes away. Okay, well, I, I guess I guess we're going to have to agree to disagree on that one. I mean, you know, I, I'm not for the electoral college. I never have been. Good to hear from you, Brian. I appreciate the call as always, and I always like getting into it with you. Let's go to Stephen. Stephen, we only got a couple minutes here. Stephen, thank you for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you? 
Hey, yeah, Mr. Ryan. Yes, sir. I, I, I'd like to commend that last caller. He made a lot of sense. He's a smart and guy. Course, you know, if you give the states no, absolutely no ability to influence the outcome, then they won't they won't be in the union long. Uh, do you believe in the Constitution, Brian? Uh, do I believe in, in in regards to what? Be very specific. What in well, regards to what? They they, they recognize that they couldn't get the thirteen states to start this this uh, compact without. Mm-hmm helping the small states uh, elect the representatives that they wanted. That's what, that's where it was all about. But I, the Constitution question has to do with uh, Cortez Masto. I don't know if you heard today yet, but uh, she said that uh, she was questioning the FBI, former FBI Yes, director. I'm going to dir- – you know what, Stephen? I, she said, uh, I'm sorry to cut – Why weren't you I hear arresting – Stephen, I got to I gotta go. I, I'm up against a hard break, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you, my friend. I am going to answer your question when we come back because that is a valid question about Ocasio-Cortez. Also, I will defend Donald Trump voters. I'll, I'll explain why coming up next. You're listening to The Vegas Take, the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM. K-Dawn. All right, welcome back. It is the Vegas Take, Sharp and Shapiro. Glad you could join us. A lot to get to this hour. Jameson Welsh from Drive Time Sports. Talk a little UNLV hoops, a little NBA basketball. We'll switch topics a little bit, but I did want to get to this story, and then we'll take your phone calls at 257-5396. Here's why I will defend a Trump supporter, okay? The police summoned to Missouri Western State University. A black woman asked a white teen to remove his Make America Great Again hat, which is utterly ridiculous. University student Doso Nadaye, I hope I'm pronouncing this student right, bumped heads with the campus police officer, upset that a visiting high school boy wore a MAGA hat, as reported by the campus newspaper. Uh, there's a video of this. And this is happening in, in, in large portions of the country, right? If you're a Trump supporter and you're wearing a Trump hat or a Trump shirt or whatever the case may be, we've seen this, right? These videos go viral. I remember there was a guy that walked into like a cigar shop and, and the guy wouldn't give him cigars and started screaming at him. So the guy videos it and the kid got fired. Look, you're just that, that's just ignorant. Okay? You should be allowed to wear a hat, whatever, as long as it doesn't say F you, no swearing vulgarities or, or something, you know, that that the university wouldn't support. What is wrong with wearing a Donald Trump hat if you support him or not? People have the right to do that, okay? It's called freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. You're allowed to wear a MAGA hat, just as I would say you're allowed to wear a Hillary Clinton hat, so on and so forth. So for those of you out there, now, I've started conversations with people that wear MAGA hats. Respectfully, I say, hey, tell me. I want to pick your brain. Why do you like Donald Trump? I want to understand. And I'm respectful, and if we disagree, I say, well, here's why I don't like him. But I don't criticize them for wearing a hat, and if you're a business owner and you won't serve somebody or if you're on a college campus and you're going to verbally assault somebody because they're wearing a MAGA hat, you're a clown. And I don't want that to be the, you know, the way this country works. Just because you disagree with someone politically, even if you think someone is a bad guy, and yeah, I don't think Donald Trump is a good dude. <laughs> I'm pretty consistent with that. You should still be allowed to wear a MAGA hat. Just like you should be allowed to listen to Michael Jackson music, even though I think the guy pedof- was a pedophile. You, you're still allowed to listen to his music. You could still buy a Michael Jackson poster, hang it up wherever you want. You could still wear Michael Jackson stuff. I'm not saying Donald Trump's a pedophile, by the way, so I don't want to get emails on that. But you get my point, right? 257-5396 is the number to call if you want to be a part of the program. 702-257-5396. Lorraine, you've been waiting very patiently on hold. How are you? Hi, good. Um, I wanted to go back to the Biden issue. Sure. Um, I just wanted to bring this up um, because it kind of infuriated me. Um, the women on The View um, seem to be condoning um, him. And it's okay for Biden. They like Biden and like his ways of touchy-feely. I don't understand this because it, although it is the women brought it up, she brought it up, mm-hmm. and they're— the other Democrats are saying, yep. yeah, I believe her, and, um, you know, we yeah. need to go forward as if it's true. It's not assault. But they don't realize they just express sexual harassment. It is sexual harassment.
harassment. What, what? Let me ask you a question. What woman that he touched claimed that he sexually harassed her? Because I haven't heard that. I've heard that the women may, let's just say you're right, hypothetically, yeah. that he inappropriately touched women. None of these women, in, as far as I know, have come forward and say it was sexual. In fact, the woman... You don't in, have I, to. The fact that they're bringing it up and saying he inappropriately in any other human resources department, if I brought that up into my boss, they consider it immediately open up a case of sexual harassment and investigate it, correct? It depends on exactly what happened. Are you talking about touching someone on the shoulder or kissing someone on the top of the head, uh, that sort of thing? Apparently, he comes up behind her. She mm -hmm. expresses to everybody on the news that she was uncomfortable with him touching her. So can shoulder, I ask you a question? Her hair and kissing her. Let me ask you a question. Then why didn't she say, Mr. Biden, that's inappropriate. You're making me feel uncomfortable. Can you please not do that? Why would she, she wait till have. now? Well, why she would she have. wait till now? She has now. Why is the view? Why is the view condoning? Well, let me give you an answer. Let me answer that. No, you let me answer that. It was anybody else. Let that me answer that. Let me answer that. And that's a that's a fair question. Let me answer that. First of all, Cindy, uh, John, John McCain was, as you know, was very close with Biden. McCain's daughter, of course, is on The View. The View is a very left-leaning show. As you know, Whoopi Goldberg, you know, many of them, they lean to the left, right? And McCain is, is the one woman there that represents the right, but she is the last person to support Donald Trump, and she also is very close to Joe Biden. They had a very close relationship. So there's no question, Lorraine, there's some bias there. I'm not going to lie to you, but at the same time, I'm also going to say— if you think this is so alarming, and I'm not sure it is, by the way, if you think it is so alarming and you think that Joe Biden has been inappropriately touching women, sexual or not, then let me ask you this. Where have you been with Donald Trump the last couple of years? Where have you been with Donald Trump when he was running for president? Where were you with Donald Trump when he said grab women by the P word? Where were you, were you with Donald Trump when apparently he had sex with a porn star after his wife just had a child? Are you consistent? I don't know if you're consistent or not. That's why I'm asking you. All I'm bringing up is that it just I understand me I, that women decide what's inappropriate, not appropriate, according to what the day of the year it is. I so understand means, your but, point. I, Lorraine, I totally— you know, If women are going to try to bring these things up, they either need to be on the bandwagon— <laughs> or not on the bandwagon. Again, but, I, I under, Lorraine, you know, Lorraine, I totally understand where you're coming from. You, you made your point well. I get that. But my question to you again is, have you been consistent? Have you called out Donald Trump for demeaning women? Have you called out Donald Trump for attacking a woman based on her looks? Ted Cruz's wife. You, you know what? Come on. I don't have to mention these things all over again. Donald Trump is a womanizer. You know that. Have you called him out if, you, if it angers you that much about what The View did with Joe Biden? And I get where you're coming from. Okay, I do. Okay, if he's inappropriately touching women or kissing women on the top of the head, he's got to stop that. There's no question. And he said that in a video today, and I played that audio. Are you consistent with Donald Trump? Have you called out Donald Trump for what I consider much worse, uh, you know, far worse allegations? Here recently in the last, you know, year? Well, he had over 12 women that claimed that he sexually assaulted that's them. That's the past. People, women are coming out now and speaking about it. What and do you mean that's the past? Out, I don't they know. need to figure out whether it's inappropriate or not inappropriate. And they need to do their research. When they start going on air and saying, I was inappropriately touched and kissed and caressed, they need to think about what they're saying. They either need to say, I'm sexually assaulted mm -hmm. I'm, or I'm sexually harassed. Mm-hmm. Well, to just start throwing allegations out there and then hurting someone, good or bad, they need to think about what they're doing. Who would you, if you have, do you have a daughter, Lorraine? Do I have a dog? A daughter, a daughter. I have a son. Okay, I apologize. Let's just say hypothetically you have a daughter. Who would you rather them spend time with, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Be honest. Um, I wouldn't have my daughter spend time with any man. If you had to, who would you rather be uh, you know, be a friend to and, and, and be close to, Joe Biden Neither or one. Donald Trump? Neither one. That's a loaded question. All right. Neither All right. One. I respect that. That's fine. But I don't. Right. I wouldn't have allowed my daughter to be with Michael Jackson or to be with any yeah. man yeah. alone. It'd be your Not son. Not in this yeah. day and age. We're <laughs> in a new day and age, and that was my only point. I understand. Right here, right, right. now, going forward. I hear you. Women are going to come out. Yeah. Pick what they're doing and saying. I understand. If they're going to mention it. Yes. Let's mention I, sexual 
I, I don't di- don't mention it at all. I don't, I don't disagree with you, Lorraine, and it is, it is good to hear from you. I guess the point I was trying to get to is have you been calling out Donald Trump like you seem to want to call out Joe Biden? But I respect your opinion. If Joe Biden has touched women, you know, made them uncomfortable, there's no question. This is not sexual. But if he has been inappropriate, then he needs to stop. And he put out a video saying he's willing to listen and he's willing to stop. Has Donald Trump ever apologized for anything? Has he? Look at the video that Joe Biden put out today, and we played some of that audio where he said, look, I, it was very thoughtful, I thought. He said, look, I'm, I'm a very, you know, I, I don't want to paraphrase what he said, but he said, I'm going to listen to these women, and I'm going to be more attentive to it. Has Donald Trump ever said anything like that ever in his life, let alone when he's been the president? That's my problem. 257-5396 the number to call again, 702-257-5396. Let's go to Madeline. Madeline, thanks for calling in. How are you? Well, I'm just as well as I was a few minutes ago. (laughs) (laughs) My question is, in these cases of allegations, why do these women wait so long? Well, you could say the same thing about Bill Cosby. I mean, a lot of those yep. women, and I had one of those women in studio. She she lives here in Las Vegas. She came in and talked about it for an hour with me, and something horrible happened to her, what, like 20, 30 years ago, and she decided to come forward. I think, I think every case, Madeline, is different. I think in some cases women are afraid to come forward because of perhaps a powerful man. They're, they're afraid what that man can do to them, either with their job, career, Whatever the case may be, I think other women, you know, I think all types of different women have different reasons. In a perfect world, I wish a woman would come forward immediately, immediately. That's right. And if, and if yeah, and, and, but I'll say this about some of these women and Joe Biden because it's frustrating to me. If Joe Biden made these women feel so uncomfortable, we're not talking about rape. We're, thank God. We're not talking about sexual assault. Nobody's come forward and said Joe Biden sexually assaulted them. If Joe Biden made them feel a little uncomfortable, why would it be so difficult to turn around and say, Mr. Biden, can you please not touch me, you know, with all due respect? That's all. And I bet you Joe Biden would say, I'm so sorry. I apologize. And he wouldn't do it again. But, uh, you know, that, that's it's one thing when you talk about sexual assault and rape. It's another thing if, if, if Biden touches somebody on the shoulder and it makes them feel so uncomfortable that they decide to bring it up five, ten years later. I, to me, that I, I don't hold much credibility to that. Okay. I agree with you on that. And I also had called in, but it was a pre-recorded program, and I was asking about the tape. That Mr. Cheeto's man bragged about <laughs> grabbing women by the pee. Yes, yes. And they couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Now, I would like to know, what if there were a whole lot of dudes coming out saying, oh, yeah, I had a lot of sex with this or <laughs> right. these women so many times. See, I don't think it should matter whether he was president or not. Uh, if you have a microphone on you, Even if and there's a cameraman there, even if he doesn't think they're taping, what kind of person are you to talk like that? And then and and here's okay, here's I'm so glad you brought that up. The 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 the, the grab him by the pee thing. Here's my problem with this. Okay, Joe Biden, even though he's never been accused of sexual assault, Joe Biden, never been accused of anything even close to that serious. He still goes out and he comes up with with a very heartfelt video. I I believe and says, look, I'm here to listen. You know, I'm here to be more attentive, so on and so forth. And, and I believe he was genuine. Donald Trump, next day, he, he, he sort of apologizes, says, I'm sorry. And then he makes excuses. Then he says, I don't even think it was my voice on the tape. He, he, he backtracks his apology, and then he says it was locker room talk. And when I say here's the difference between a Donald Trump and a Joe Biden, Joe, Joe Biden has something called credibility, in my opinion, and I think he's a decent man. Trump has never apologized for anything. And when he did apologize, he, he retracted it and said it wasn't his voice. How idiotic is that? You're right on that. And I saw the news clip uh, where Joe Biden seemed very sincere. Yes, he did. And so apologetic. Yes. Um, that... I would vote for him. I would. All right. Well, you know what? I think there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way you do, Madeline, and it is good to hear from you. The number to call, 257-5396, the number to call if you want to be a part of the program. Again, 702-257-5396. If you are listening from faraway lands on this 50,000-watt mega 
news talk station, KDWN. Give us a call, 702-257-5396. Now, again, I did bring this up, and I, and I want to bring up Steve Wynn. Yes, another o- old white man that uh, thinks they can do whatever they want sexually to women. Yes, I do believe Steve Wynn is one of those women. Now, if you recall, it's been 14 months since uh, of denying allegations of sexual misconduct. We're talking about, of course, uh, former uh, Wynn Resorts chairman and CEO Steve Wynn. He said in a report that was released that he had multiple consensual relationships with employees over the years. Multiple consensual relationships, he said, during my tenure at the Wynn Resorts. He said he made no attempt to document them, and he says that he recognized that some of the names, but not doesn't have a memory of ever meeting any of the women that were identified. He also went on to say that he denies ever having any relationship that was not consensual. He said he was aware that the company had a code of conduct and related policies. He said he was not familiar with the details of those policies, which is which is pretty incredible. He uh, declined to be questioned in person, which I think is very important. And these allegations against Wynn were first reported back in January 2018. And just over a week after the allegations surfaced, Wynn resigns as chairman and CEO. And within two months, he had uh, divested all financial holdings. He was actually evicted from his villa he lived in at the resort. And let's not forget about secret payments that were made, okay? Wynn made a $7.5 million settlement to a female manicurist employee who said he forced her to have sex with him. The 2005 encounter led to her becoming pregnant, according to the manicurist. $7.5 million, uh, you know, I'll let Steve Wynn impregnate me for $7.5 million. That's a lot of money. I shouldn't make jokes about that. But if that did happen, Steve Wynn, another guy who thinks he could do whatever he wants, an older white man with a lot of money, and uh, now he's, of course— denying that he did anything wrong. Should we be surprised? Should we be shocked? What do you think of these Steve Wynn comments? Does it remind you of the president? A guy that, you know, older gentleman, married, a lot of money, power, and they think they can do whatever they want. They think they could just pay people off and everything is going to go away. Well, not anymore. When we think of Steve Wynn and we think of his legacy, this is going to be a part of his legacy. Did he make a lot of money? Did he run a lot of great casinos? Did he run great business? Sure. But he's also a scumbag, okay, who did a lot of things under the table. And I'm not just talking about cheating on your wife. I'm talking about mistreating employees and paying people under the table. Put Steve Wynn right next to Bill O'Reilly, as far as I am concerned. And Donald Trump. 257-5396 is the number to call. 702-257-5396. Let's go to Jim. Jim, thanks for calling in. How are you? So, uh... I heard, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard that creepy Joe Biden <laughs> used to swim in the swimming pool naked with the uh, female uh, Secret Service. Uh, uh-huh. Where people, did you, uh, Jim, where did you hear that in, from? In, your in the president. Where did you hear that from? Info, Info Wars or your right wing conspiracy magazine? No, no, I just heard it. I heard it on. I don't know if I. I uh, that's I utterly I ridiculous. On, uh, the uh, evening All right. news. Well, send me a picture. I'd love to see Joe Biden naked, Jim. That sounds like a lot well, of fun. I don't think they have pictures of him. Oh, that's too bad. Somebody said, and not, okay. it may not be true. I don't know. Yeah, this well, what they okay. said on the news. Uh huh. Okay? Well, well, I mean, well, you know, maybe I, you should maybe you should find it. I out. heard. I, I heard that uh, Donald Trump likes to be urinated on in in Russia. Is that true? Well, I think that dossier has been proven to be false. Oh, I mean, okay. Oh, well, that's that. Hey, well, that's just what I heard. You, can I ask you a question? You can, ask, Jim. You can ask me anything you want, Jim, because you're awesome. How about that? I don't know if I can go that far. <laughs> that, go ahead, that's Jim. Give me a lot. Of, that's give me a lot of leeway. <laughs> go but ahead, Jim. How, how come you haven't mentioned Bill Clinton along with these? Uh, how come I have? Uh, that's, a that that's a great question. That's a great question because when was the last time Bill Clinton was a politician? When was the last time uh, Steve Wynn was a politician? Steve Wynn, it is a local story, okay? And, and the news— He's not a politician. Excuse though. me, I'll answer your question. The, the news just came out today. These are the first public comments that he made about these allegations, and it just ha- so happens it's in our, it's in our backyard. That's why. What, what do you want me to do? You want me? Hold on. Hold on. And Hillary Clinton. I'm answering your question. Shots what? in our government. That's our are you, are you going to let me well, answer your question? That doesn't matter. I, I'm, I'm trying to answer your question if you'll let me, okay? Do you want me to go uh, through I don't every— I agree with you. Okay, well, how about you let me finish answering your question? Go I was. Ahead, I, okay, finish. thank you. I, that's very nice of you, Jim. I appreciate that. You're too kind. Uh, what I'm saying is do you want me to go through every single politician the last 100 years that, that has been accused of no, sexual assault? Why, why are you obsessed with Bill Clinton? He's not our president anymore. 
He's not our president anymore. Why do you want me to bring up Bill Clinton? It's irrelevant right now. Steve Wynn is relevant. The story just came out today. Well, actually, Donald no, Trump is no, relevant. Actually, it's not relevant. Yes, it's yes, no, it is. It was on a tarmac with the— uh, That happened along. That happened years ago. That has nothing to do with what's going on today. Why are you bringing well, up Bill know. Clinton? She seems to have gotten away with a lot of stuff. Why do you, you keep, no, Jim? You don't have concerns about her. She's not a politician anymore. Walk. You are a, you are a Donald Trump supporter, and every single time Trump screws up, you want to bring up Hillary Clinton. Stop it! Hey, hey, listen. I support Donald Trump. And well, wow, that's a shocker. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man. Jim, I thought you were a liberal. Goodbye. Uh, Jim, oh, my God, what a shocker. You support Donald Trump, and you want me to talk about Bill Clinton. Why don't we do three hours tomorrow and talk about Monica Lewinsky? Will that make you happy? Why don't we do three hours tomorrow and talk about uranium, and let's talk about Hillary Clinton and that pizza joint where, where there was terrorism? Why don't we talk about that? Wow, what a shocker. You're a Donald Trump supporter. Jeez, I would have never guessed. Two five seven five three nine six. Dave, you're next. How are you, Dave? I'm okay. How you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing okay. Please don't bring up Bill Clinton. I'm not going to bring up Bill Clinton, but <laughs> it's obvious you're a Trump hater. But the thing is, is all we're talking about is these women uh, between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. But nobody is talking policies. What exactly does Joe Biden stand for? That last woman called and said she'd vote for him. She doesn't even know what he stands for. Well, uh, of all, as far as policy all, or is Mr. he? Biden, he, Mr. Biden blames angry white culture for the problems of the United States. So I don't know how people can vote for him when he says stupid stuff like that. Well, Donald Trump blames blames illegal immigrants and Mexicans for, for raping everybody in this country, too. So I, I'm sure you would vote well, for that, though, right, Dave? Said, he never said that they raped everybody. Excuse me. Way, no, that, that's not that, true. Dave, he said, hello. Uh, he said they're not bringing their best. No, that's not and what he said, Dave. No, Dave, let's be very accurate here, and I'm going to quote. What, hold that, on a second. That, Dave, that. Dave, I'm going to let you talk, but hold on a second. Let me give the exact quote. These people, they come into this country, they're rapists, they're terrible people, and I suppose... Some of them are good people. That's exactly what your president said, and it is completely and utterly disgusting. And how can you support that? You realize that that, it, that, that Mexican channel supported his statement when they wrote that article that 70 percent of the women sneaking up into our border have been raped. You so, realize so, that. So, so the majority of illegals 70, co coming in are rapists. Is that what you're saying, Jim? 70 percent of the women that have snuck into our country have been raped. So, that's, so that's you agree with our president. About what's going on. All right, Dave, I appreciate the call. I couldn't. I certainly couldn't disagree with you more. I, it's amazing to me that you defend a comment like that. What I want to hear from a like-minded Republican, I don't agree with that comment. I wish everybody would come into this country illegally, but no, I don't think the majority of illegals coming into the country are rapists. See, that's the problem with the stuff that Donald Trump says. People drink the Kool-Aid, and they believe everything he says. Let's go to another Dave. Dave, thanks for calling in. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Yeah, uh, I mean, you must doing this show. You're just assaulted by these uh, <laughs> Trump people calling in. It's like there's uh, oh, it's okay. I don't know, mind it at all. There aren't a lot of liberals listening to your show. <laughs> I give it to them, Dave. I don't mind. It's okay. Uh, you know, putting the white angle on it is just disingenuous, man. I mean, that's not it's not a white guy call, calling white people like sexual assault. Assaulters is just as bad as calling Mexicans rapists, and I don't believe that Trump meant Mexicans are, you know, you can more say, likely to be well, rapists. You can say meant, but I do hear a lot of people, Dave, saying, well, I don't think Donald Trump meant that. Look, I can only go by exactly the quote. I'm not making it up. That's exactly what he said. Well, I, remember, the, I saw him say it. I mean, it yeah. didn't sound to me like he's saying, you know, you know you're, you're trying to— you know, get across the point that Donald Trump believes Mexican men are rapists. He said these people coming into this country, they're rapists, they're horrible people, and I suppose a lot of them, you know, some a lot of these of them people. Are criminals. Yeah, yeah. They're, and he said I suppose. Illegally su crossing. Uh, well, yeah. define a lot because the majority of these illegals coming in are not criminals. I disagree with that. And the ones that aren't, a lot of the women are being raped by the coyotes that are bringing them over here. Why would you call people coming into this country coyotes? Why would you well, use I'm, that I'm term? talking about the people who are bringing these people over here that are guiding them through the desert. Look, I have no doubt. Their women I, ha way. I have no doubt. Look, any rapist, I hope they spend the rest of their life behind bars. But to say that the majority of these people coming into this country are rapists is not factually accurate. It's just not true, Dave. Well, to even attach white to it is... Uh, is an insult, and you know when. What do you mean attached? Show when you're naming names, you should name Bill Clinton. You should name, uh, you know, what's his name? Who can't keep his hands off 
uh, every woman he touches. Who's, you know, so you want me to go through the list of every single person from back 10, 20, 30 years that has assaulted women? You really think I need to do that, Dave? Come on, let's be honest here. That that would take the that would take eight hours. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I bring up Steve Wynn because he is an older white guy that is extremely wealthy. Okay, and he made some public comments that just came out, and he's denying any wrongdoing. I don't believe him. I don't think you just fork over seven and a half million dollars to somebody and impregnate somebody that worked there and say, "Oh, it was consensual. Everything was fine." So, we're, we're, Dave, we're going to have to disagree on that one. I appreciate the phone call, and it was good to hear from you. Thank you. Two five seven five three nine six. We'll try to sneak in a few more quick phone calls before we go to break. March, thanks for calling into the Vegas Take. How are you? I please show today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, a, a couple of points, one on, on Mr. Biden, one on Mr. Wynn. Um, you know, they, I think personally the sign of a man is when he admits being wrong, and I think Joe did that uh, in his statement. Yeah. Um, but it'll, you know, really it's going to be the rubber meeting the road. Yeah. You know, how he how he does things later on. Right. And unfortunately for him, I think what happened, and I've seen this already now, I think the last couple of years, is – the Me Too movement mm-hmm. has caused a lot of women to be vocal. Those that have been quiet, yes. oh, well, it's Me Too, it's Me Too type of thing. Right. So it becomes a copycat, and it's, it almost becomes like a lynch mob as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it is, and I guess the point, Marge, I'm, I'm trying to make is Joe Biden put out a very heartfelt video. Mm-hmm. At least I, I thought it was very heartfelt. I think he's an honorable man, and we've never seen a lick of that from Donald Trump. Not no. one ten-second moment where I could say, Wow, that was a great heartfelt moment by Donald Trump. I, I just I can't even think of a moment like that where he's talking to a reporter or he's talking about maybe a mistake he made in his past. Right. E- even the grab him by the pee thing where you locker room talk and, and then he says, I don't think that was my voice because the man thinks he can do no wrong and he can't admit it. And, and, and that's the difference between him and a Joe Biden. Yeah, he's above it all. And in relative to Mr. Wynn, and, and it's the same, mm-hmm. I don't know, makeup, if you will, of the person. Yeah. You know, he, he's, he's getting away with all of this. The board looked the other way. Of course. And what's really more of a concern yeah. is his own wife yeah. knew what was going on. She right. actually said, I'm not going to be interviewed by the board of directors right. to tell him. And worse yet, mm-hmm. their general counsel, uh, Ms. Sinatra, of all yeah. people, uh, never bothered to investigate anything, mm. and she got a $10 million severance package. Right. And, and, and you know he, what? Yeah. That you, Marge, you're absolutely right, and that's why I bring it up, and he says he can do no wrong, Marge. Let me just thank you for not bringing up Bill Clinton, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Marge, Marge, good to hear from you. Always right. good to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye. We're going to sneak in one more quick call, then we got to go to break. Let's go to Andy. Andy, thank you for calling in to the Vegas Take. How are you? Uh, good evening. Uh, let, let me just say first uh, that, that that is a veteran and a Latino man myself. I'm actually Puerto Rican. Thank Let's you for your and, service, and, and, sir. Thank you for your service. Uh, I, I appreciate that. But let me go ahead and explain to you why we and, and me were, were Donald Trump supporters. Okay. And, and the thing about it is you keep on talking about the Biden apologies, apologies that uh, you saw today. Mm-hmm. At what point did, did, did I miss the point where he said, and to those females that have actually accused me i'm actually very very sorry i didn't say I he apologized to them no. did he say that no i didn't, he didn't apologize i didn't say he apologized he said, i understand right he said, i understand because what's he d- going on today right in the atmosphere that's going on today he didn't apologize directly to didn't them. say he apologized he would be excused and I a sorry ass apology i didn't oh hold on i didn't say he apologized where did i say right. in the show that well, he apologized had that same apology. Number one, Trump, num- been saying how okay. Weak well, let me excuse. explain, Andy. Right. That's that's a good point. Let me explain. Right. First of all, Joe Biden uh, doesn't think he did anything wrong, but yet he is saying that he wants to listen to these women and he's willing to change. He did say that in the video, but yet he didn't say, you know what, I'm sorry. But here's the thing. Nobody accused him of sexual assault. Donald Trump has over a dozen women that accused him of sexual assault. He says, grab him by the P word in a video. Never, never a sincere apology from Donald Trump. He retracted it. Well, now, 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 having that said, let me go ahead and explain to you why that's all political anyway. That's, no, it's that's, not. That's, that, well, well I, I, I voted for him as a Latino man, and I understand him. And what I understand is, you know what, I voted for policy. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't vote for somebody because I like him or I dislike him. Okay. Or based on well, we disagree. That's I all. No, well, let me explain. I voted for him. Because he wants to make our military strong again. He supports our law enforcement. Can I ask you a question when it comes to that? Uh, do you agree yeah. with his policy that transgender shouldn't serve in the military? Do I agree with that? Yes. Um, I do. I do. You think – oh, hold on a second, Andy. I hold do. on. Okay, Andy, you're entitled to your opinion, but this really fires me up. You're well, telling me that – opinion. I served. Did you? 
just because I didn't serve doesn't mean I'm not entitled to an opinion. I said thank you for your oh, service. Oh. I don't play that card, okay? okay. I'm entitled. Oh, I'm entitled okay. to my opinion, okay? And by the way, the president. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The president. Uh, don't don't play the. Ra First of all, the president had bone spurs, okay? And he dodged the military, and you support him, so don't play that damn card with me. Number one. Number two. Okay. If, if you're a tra excuse me, excuse me. If you're a transgender and you've served this country honorably, for you to say you're okay to to slap them and basically say you can't serve, that is a disgrace. Sir, I am. I that am. is a and disgrace. Ninety percent of military members, ninety percent of military members, just feel the same way I do. They okay, well, where do you get that from? Me. Where the hell and do you get that percentage from? I speak to them all the time. Oh, because, because you speak, speak to every single time. member of the military. You seem to know what every single person thinks. Are you the insane? Feel the same so way you've spoken to twenty or thirty me. people, and you think you know what everybody thinks? What are you Once talking again, about? Once again, they don't have the guts to say it publicly. Oh, please. Doors, they all feel the same talk way. about guts. You support a guy that said he had bone spurs that wouldn't serve in the military, but you support him, so don't talk to me about guts. You support a guy that dodged the military. And I, I, I'm voting for him because he's getting strong on Don't talk to me about China, guts. Don't China, talk to me about China, guts. Donald Trump China, has zero guts. Zero. China None. We built our country at our expense for the Please. last Please. Donald years. Trump doesn't have one he ounce of finally, guts in his body. Not one ounce of guts. holding China accountable for over the last 30 years. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Let me ask you another question. I'll give you that, Andy. Let me ask you another question. I'll give you that point, okay? As a member of the military, when Donald Trump says, I don't support John McCain because he was captured, do you, are you okay with that? You okay with him going after a POW as a member of the military? Now, having that said, I'm fair. I didn't like that comment. You see what I mean? I didn't like the comment. I didn't see the need to attack him. And, 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 and to me, it was, it, it was below, you know, what... Uh, the presidency, let's say. You see what I mean? Well uh, below the pre presidency. It was a disgrace. It, 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 it was a dumb comment. But at the same time, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep wait, When it's bad, it's bad. When it's fair, it's fair. So once again, I voted for him once again because of his. See, it's funny how we can support him, but we support supported a community organized like Barack Obama. I didn't support he Barack Obama. Uh, when do you right. say we? I didn't I didn't vote for Barack Obama. Well, what are you talking I'm about? I'm just saying the country did. You know, perfectly a community organizer, but he was per perfectly fit to run the country, but a businessman like Donald Trump isn't fit to run the country. Give me a break. What, do you, what, what are you saying? You're saying Barack Obama didn't have the intellect or the intelligence or experience to be the president, but Donald Trump does? Is that what you're trying a to tell absolutely, me? Absolutely. Okay, well, that's ridiculous. That's good. Absolutely. All right, Andy, uh, look, let me say say this again. Thank you for your service. You are a hero as far as I'm concerned, regardless of whether we disagree, but I am mind bo boggled by some of your opinions. You're okay with transgenders not serving in the military. You support a guy that goes after POWs, and then you're talking to me about guts, and then the, the commander-in-chief is the one that claimed he has bone spurs. So you just, you, just, you just made all the points for me, basically. All the qualities you want in somebody, that's not Donald Trump. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back right after this with Jamison Walsh. You're listening to The Vegas Take on the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM, K Don.